I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my king. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pause and before we enter into these sacred mysteries. Be mindful of how the Lord has come to us for the times we have chosen sin and his great love. We seek his mercy and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just. Listen kindly to our prayers and those who call upon you, that they, may, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill in your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow after Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission. They returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now they were in the church at Antioch, prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Maniac, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they lay hands on them and set them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Cilicia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O, o God, God, let, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, God let, let all the nations, nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exalt, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O God, o God let, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, God, let, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. 
And if anyone who hears my voice and my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn them. For I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge, has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own. But the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus tells us that he came into the world as light. And of course, we know as we get closer to light, the more we can see. Sometimes it's a lot of the imperfections in our lives, but it's something we shouldn't fear. But when we see those imperfections, those things where we, or those moments where we fall short, that's where we need to work. Maybe today it's a good time to reflect upon our lives. How is your relationship with God? And don't just simply say it's pretty good. Well, if it's pretty good, make it better. If it's better, make it best. Reflect upon your relationship with God. Try to see where God is shining through in his light. Maybe look at your relationships with one another. And how is that relationship with God shedding that divine light on everyone you meet? We offer our needs to the Father who always hears us. For the church, may God bring unity where it is needed and build bridges where there is division. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected leaders and their advisors, may the wisdom and peace of Christ inspire them in legislating and leading their people justly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick in mind, body, or spirit, may Christ the healer touch them through the hands and presence of friends today, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for ourselves. May God grant us the courage to proclaim the word of God with love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Archbishop Lori, who leads the church in Baltimore today as he celebrates his 69th birthday. May the Lord grant him the gift of peace and health let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who have passed from this world, marked with the sign of faith, that they may be welcomed into eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you sent us the words of eternal life in your Son. Hear now our prayers. We beg you to answer them according to your gracious will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just to the end our salvation. At all times to accomplish all to Lord you let more, yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your divine will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah.
For those who cannot receive communion at this time, I offer you this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Be to Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.